Hey, Zach here, and today I'm gonna to show you one of my favorite shoulder openers. This is the teacup stretch. It's dynamite for shoulder mobility. It's also going to address the elbows and wrists as well. So I'm gonna show you the basic pattern and some really fun variations for you to try and progress. So to learn the basic pattern, I would suggest going completely unweighted or using a light book. Obviously, you can progress into a small weight plate or, as you'll see here shortly, a light medicine ball. But what we're going to do here is keep your palm open as if you were balancing a cup of tea. Obviously, we don't want to spill it. So this first variation that we're going to do is just our basic pattern, and we're going to, leading with the pinky, sweep under the armpit, out to the side, again, palm up, right back to where we started. Okay, one more time. That's folding under the armpit, kicking fingers out to the side, around over the shoulder, and right back. Now from here, we can elongate the range of motion. So what we would try is actually going behind the back, kicking way out to the side, bending the elbow, folding way over across to the opposite shoulder, and back out. So one more time, long range of motion under the armpit and behind the back, kicking way out to the side, sweeping across, bending through the elbow to the opposite shoulder and around. Okay, so that is the longer range of motion. The shorter range of motion, which is kind of tough, is if we kind of go right here towards the midline of the body, we're going to sweep under, around, kind of right there in front of your face. You can really lean with this. You don't need to be too stiff through the hips or the core here. Let your body move around. Now obviously what I've been demonstrating is leading with the pinky, leading with this internal rotation. You can also do the opposite, leading with the thumb, leading with external rotation. Right? But I would recommend starting with that leading on the pinky side. Now once you've mastered the basic pattern, two ways that you can progress is by adding a little bit of load and also challenging your base. We're going to try both. So I have a little medicine ball here and what we're going to try is actually coming up onto one leg. Obviously this is going to challenge your balance. Don't be afraid to really hinge, lean over explore counterbalancing with your free limbs. So that's opposite arm and leg working. Now we're gonna try same side arm and leg working. And we can work the teacup rotation from your deep squat. So from here, find your comfortable depth, but don't be afraid to come up out of your squat just a little bit to help facilitate that pattern. Again, also don't be afraid to shift and lean side to side. So any extra work that we can do in the bottom of a squat is usually a good idea. And finally, we'll try the teacup rotation from a bear position, which is basically just a plank with knees bent. So we'll see how this goes. Well, that was fun. As you can see, we can take this basic figure eight, internal, external rotation, teacup idea, and apply it to many different positions. Have fun, practice, and let me know how you like it.